Hi everyone, and thanks so much for joining us today. We're here with Marco Christofoli. He's the CEO of Cruises International, and we're touching base with him on the Royal Caribbean International product and what is happening with the brand at the moment. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure. Great. Maybe we can start by talking about some of the upcoming sailings that Royal Caribbean International is committed to. I was reading this week and I see that a number of Israel cruises are going to be introduced. Maybe you can talk us through this decision. So absolutely fantastic news. I think it's something we've been waiting for for a long, long time. Um, you know, essentially it's, for, you know, it's, it's, the law, it's, it's basically the launching of cruising in the new COVID uh, environment. So we're very excited. Um, why Israel specifically? I think really it's just down to the fact that um, Israel is the first country in the world to have most of its population vaccinated. Mm -hmm. So it's a starting point from a safety perspective. Um, so what we are excited about is that this, so the itineraries um, will be round trips from Haifa, which will be the new home port for other mm -hmm. species. And, um, so there will be idyllic sort of uh, getaways uh, between three and seven nights, all right? And what they will do is they will do the med, um, predominantly going to Greece and Cyprus. So it will touch islands like uh, Rhodes, Santorini, Mykonos, Athens, uh, Limassol. Um, so really, really nice itineraries. It will be restricted, obviously, for the Israeli market mm -hmm. uh, initially as a start. Um, but the most exciting thing for me really is that it starts in May. So we, we, we can feel it and we can touch it already, which is, which is so exciting because until, until now, we really didn't know when, you know, sailing would sort of start picking up again. And so with that, you know, in mind and understanding that it's all developing as, as we're speaking, do you have any sort of comments about what's happening sort of with South Africa at the moment? Obviously, we were the first to develop the South African strain and we've had dozens of countries sort of saying that we can't enter um, directly from South Africa um, as we could be carrying the strain. And obviously our rollout of our vaccine is, is quite a lot slower than a country like Israel. Yep. Uh, you know, mm. do you think like, going forward, how will South Africans be able to get on the cruise ships? Like, is there a time frame in mind? Is there anything else that can be done to open, open the, the world back uh, up? Oh. It's a difficult question because there's so many unknown and, and we don't yeah. really know. But what I what I do believe is though that the I do believe that the J and J vaccine mm -hmm. um, will be effective, obviously, um, against the new strain, which um, you know, which will be administered locally. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, that's a plus. Um, you know, so yes, it, uh, it was a bit slow in starting, but better late than never. <laughs> and I think the rollout is in full swing. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and let's see how that goes. But um, I don't think we I don't think we will be restricted um, from cruising. Um, what I do believe is that the cruise lines return to service will be a gradual one, mm -hmm. um, um, obviously, which will which will allow them to prepare for multi market travel essentially. Um, but certainly, as as we as we get more and more vaccinated, um, I think automatically it will you know th those those vaccines will be more than acceptable. Um, and we know already that the J and J vaccine. Mm -hmm. You know, is uh, you know the efficacy for 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 our strain mm. uh, is is a you know is is eighty five I think or whatever percent effective. So just purely you know following that logic, yeah. South Africans will depart from travelling. So there's light there's light at the, the end. The bigger question is how soon can we all be vaccinated? <laughs> is the bigger question. I can't answer that. That I can't answer, but. But uh, I'm very optimistic that, um, that we'll get there, we'll get there. And I really do believe that before the end of this year, um, I'm hoping that at least we'll have some sort of population immunity um, that will have taken place. Okay, um, and I mean, you've measured, there'll be, uh, you've mentioned that there'll be additional measures such as mask wearing and social distancing on board cruises. Uh, so anything else on that front that, um, potential cruise passengers should be aware of and are there any other obstacles that your guys are encountering in the restarting of cruises? So I think look I mean cruise lines have had a, you know had a very stringent uh, onboard health and safety protocols long before COVID. Mm -hmm. 
together with enhancing the current health protocols, which uh, you know, which uh, we all know about. Additional measures, additional measures, I believe, could include social, all include rather, social distancing, possible wearing of masks, um, and I think obviously that that will be scaled down as the vaccines become more and more effective and more people are you know are vaccinated. Mm -hmm. And again, we all you know all eyes are now on the um, on the Israeli market because that will teach us so many lessons, mm -hmm. you know, in terms. of what physically happens on the ship now, you know, inverted commas, that's going live, mm. you know, until now, tests. Yeah. Now we actually find a live environment with real people, real crew, um, and the new sort of the new COVID world, essentially. Mm. So a lot of things will be gleaned and learned from that um, in terms of a lot of the protocols uh, that, we, that we know. But, 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 you know, obviously I think what will happen is there'll be regular temperature checks, um, there will be, uh, you know, obviously the, the normal health questionnaires. So, you know, because uh, the intention is really when, when, when somebody uh, boards the ship, you almost, you, you would need to be 100% sure that they carry no strain or they, they're fine, so it's, you know, they're healthy. Um, so I think, you know, so the, the, the preventative measures are going to be huge. So, so I think, you know, it's not just once you're on the ship and that's it. It's, it's, I think that the whole sort of build up before you board the ship is going to be quite a stringent sort of uh, um, process and a lot of protocols which will, will take place, in, you know, as I've mentioned. Um, I suppose you know, the other things that, that I foresee is, um, this, you know, sending more balcony cabins. Okay, uh, right. Reduced passenger capacity, mm. which makes which makes sense if you if you if you're thinking you need you know more outdoor space, uh, less people congested, um, you know things that I that I envisage uh, or that you know have been spoken about. Again, nothing concrete, but uh, you know we'll we'll probably see restaurants obviously not for the capacity, so there may be you know more than one sitting to try mm -hmm. and uh, you know limit the numbers a bit. You know the theatres, you know you still may have one seat open, one seat uh, closed, one seat open. So, you know, there'll be more shows to accommodate everybody, but sort of less, uh, less people in those shows. So, you know, I think those, I, I think we, we just, I think we're going to have to live with some of those measures, um, which for people that are claustrophobic is going to be perfect because we still have this. Um, but again, I think it's, it's, it's all aimed at, at, at safety and, uh, and um, you know, and making the experience for people one that they, they will enjoy. Right. So I think it's, it's finding also that balance that, uh, you know, you, you, you're there to have fun, you're protected, you feel safe, but you're not in a hospital environment. Mm -hmm. Because I think nobody wants it. So it's, it's finding that happy medium and discreetly doing the things that need to do, uh, that need to be done um, to enhance the custom experience. So I think there's a lot of, a lot of effort going into beyond the scenes to strike that, that happy balance, essentially. Well, thank you so, so much. Um, lovely to have some optimistic comments. Uh, good luck for the Israel cruise in May. Keep us posted and I'm sure we'll speak again soon. Well, thank you, Sarah. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Marco. Bye-bye.